Natural selection is blind and unguided. It has no sense of direction, no sense of teleology is the big word that philosophers use. It doesn't know where it's going. All it does is it weeds out from each generation the ones that are most fit, the ones that can reproduce the best, have the most offspring. So that means that each step along the way needs to be an improvement on the previous steps. And our research says that to change a protein, just one protein can take more than six steps, perhaps as many as 20 or 30 or more, to change a protein to a new function most of the time. Now, is six steps within reach of an unguided process? The answer is probably not. Um, Doug Axe has just published a paper on the limits of how, how many mutations can be required before you get to a new function, an improved function that can be selected for. His research says if the steps, um, the, the range is between three and six, that's within reach of the age of the Earth to change one protein. Now what does it take to change a butterfly, a larva to a butterfly? Well, you have to, first of all, um, you have to dissolve all the larval structures, erase them. Imagine you're drawing a picture. You've got to erase all the larval stuff and you've got to recreate adult legs, adult antennae, adult eyes, you have to change the shape of the brain and, and the connections between the, the antennae and the eyes. You have to reformat the gut so that it switches from eating plant material to eating nectar. You have to change um, the, uh, the thorax and the abdomen so it looks like a butterfly and not like a caterpillar. You have to connect all of these things properly. You have to have the right muscles connecting so that the wings will actually flap. You, you have to make the reproductive organs so that the butterfly can reproduce. All of that has to happen. How many mutations does it take? It's not enough to say, okay, we can make a story about how it might have happened. You have to get down to the nitty-gritty. How many mutations does it take? And how do you coordinate all of that? Because not only do you have to have the right proteins being expressed in the right places, you have to coordinate them all. Because if you get the, right, the eyes right, but the gut wrong, it's a failure as a butterfly. If you get the wings right and the legs right, but the muscles don't attach, that butterfly is going nowhere. It's dead. It's not any good. So for evolution to have created this sort of pathway, it would take a miracle. It wouldn't happen by an unguided process. The lack of foresight is the major problem. Um, if evolution knew where it was headed, if it was a, a guided process, then all sorts of things can happen.